The Lurie Nano Fabrication Facility at the University of Michigan is a premier research, service, and education facility for both internal and external users. The Lurie Nano Fabrication Facility is a unique environment uh, where researchers can work with many different types of materials. Not only silicon, but also 3-5 semiconductors, organic materials, um, two-dimensional nanomaterials, and much more. The LNF currently has over 450 users from over 20 departments within the University of Michigan and from dozens of other universities, companies large and small, and government agencies across the United States. We're working on research things that are uh, very um, uh, applicable and, and uh, needed. And that has, in fact, uh, for many decades now, sustained our program. We keep seeing people from industry, from government, uh, coming to the program and uh, involving us in some of the uh, applications that they're driving from their perspective. My role at the VA hospital is in medical device research. And specifically, we look at different artificial organ technologies. And in our research group, we focus on microfluidic artificial lungs. I think what sets Michigan's uh, facility apart from the rest are, number one, the staff and their training and the assistance they offer users, as well as the um, capabilities of their equipment and processes. It far exceeds the vast majority of all facilities around the country. A major advantage of the LNF is the flexibility that it provides to the researchers. Um, that flexibility comes in in the types of materials or the types of structures that they are working on, but also the mode of usage of the LNF that they are interested in or that they need. We also offer processing services where some of our engineers and scientists will perform the work according to the researcher specification. The work that we do here at Michigan on microsystems and also uh, the devices sometimes are referred to as MEMS, uh, microelectromechanical systems, really focuses on building uh, sensors and instruments that can measure different parameters with very high precision and with accuracy for a lot of different applications. Everything from healthcare, uh, for example, measuring different biological parameters to implanting devices in the body to overcome different disabilities and diseases, uh, all the way to environmental monitoring, to energy, to transportation system, to security systems, to whatever it is that we need in order to measure. My group works in the area of electronics on anything, so we're interested in putting electronic devices on top of really any type of structure you might imagine, directly on top of existing CMOS or on top of microstructures like gyroscopes or other sensors, and being able to directly integrate heterogeneous processes together. And so we do this using a sol gel based approach. We essentially have ink materials that we coat onto other layers and anneal them to form high quality semiconductor layers. In my own group, we have developed a new memory technology uh, here at the NRF, and uh, we obtained uh, excellent results, and we attracted outside interest, and with that, we started the company in 2010, and it's now offering commercial memory products to customer companies at very large scale uh, in advanced technology nodes. Our facilities here at Michigan uh, really have played a significant role in enabling researchers to work on problems that are typically not uh, addressable or doable by uh, researchers at universities. Uh, so our fabrication facilities, our test facilities, uh, really cover a very broad spectrum of technologies and that's really what is needed in these next generation sensors and instruments is we need to be able to bring a lot of different materials, a lot of different capabilities together to build sophisticated instruments uh, in a very, on a very small chip and a very small instrument. The LNF really supports our educational mission here in providing a unique capability to train students for a variety of future careers in high-tech areas. One element that's very exciting about my job is um, getting exposed and learning about all the different research projects that our community comes up with. And sometimes it's, it looks like science fiction, uh, but it's really exciting. And all these researchers from many, many different disciplines have ideas and are coming to the LNF to actually put them and help them become reality. And being part of that uh, is a very exciting opportunity. 
I've sort of seen it from both ends, uh, from a uh, uh, starting faculty, a uh, user of a facility, all the way uh, to where I am right now as an administrator looking very broadly across the whole department uh, and in fact actually across our whole university as the impact that facilities and uh, very driven, successful group of faculty uh, can, uh, can do. And so uh, this is where uh, we sort of really move uh, technology and research frontiers forward.